guys, the basic plan is to get everything together for my Brazilian visa. Uh, the embassy is really close, like six blocks away. And the health department for my yellow fever vaccine is also like six blocks away. Everything's close to here, so I'm gonna try to knock all of that out like right now in the next three hours. Probably not the visa because I think they close at 12. And it's already 12. This hostel I'm staying at is like really nice. It's called Flying Dog 4 because they have four of them here. Or even more, maybe even more throughout Peru. But it's really nice. Look at this place, guys. This is on the third floor. It's got a great view. And the thing is like, there's three other ones around here, like around this park. And they're all the same, and they're all the same price. They're really nice. The only thing is that the people that work here, uh, they're nice, but they don't tell you about things. Like, they do as least, the least possible they can. Because when you come in here, they just go like, oh, your room number and your bed number are so, that's it. They don't tell you anything, like this third floor, almost no one knows about it. Because they just send you to your room and you just go in and get out. But dude, this is really nice. They have a kitchen up here, they have a kitchen downstairs, they have a huge outdoor uh, backyard. I showed you the guys last night. It's really nice, it's called Flying Dogs Hostel. Uh, I do recommend it. Although the other ones around here are really nice too, so everything is nice around here. Remember I was telling you guys about last night and the park that is like full of scam artists and like trying to scam you and stuff? That's a park right there. It's very touristy and popular, so I'm pretty surprised that they, they can they allow them to be here because there's, there's police here, but nobody does anything about it. So at night, they're just walking around all over here, all over the park, he's trying to talk to tourists and stuff. So guys, I found a cheap place here. It's like 10 bucks away from the hostel. It's away from the touristy area. Of course, it's cheaper and it's really good. The place is really nice too, it's like nice draw. It's brand new too. But for eight pesos I got this. I'm sorry, eight no I will solace. It's called solace the money here. And it's really good. It's very filling. So yeah of course you gotta get a tourist area to get cheap stuff. Uh, Trip advisor shows like cheap places, but they're not cheap. Either. I don't know who rates them as cheap. But, uh, well, anyways, today I didn't do much because I don't have any money, like I told you guys. Um, tomorrow I might go out a little bit, go to, uh, to the beach, maybe. But uh, today I'm working on a video. Um, I might finish it today. It's like a, it's gonna be a video for my channel, so I'll put a link if I finish it today. Uh, it's been taking me a few hours, but I think it'll be good. Actually, I won't have it ready today, but um, I'm working on that really hard right now. Because once I start traveling again, I won't have time to do it, so I have to do it now. A lot of things that I haven't done, so it's a good time to uh, catch up.